So, Abby, are you going to set the Facebook Live? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, those. Oh. Hi, Shivam, where are you? Hi, Tiri. Tiri, Hello. welcome. I'm here. Rita, I'll just stop the share for a second. Okay. I'll start the Facebook Live and. Uh... Okay, okay. Rita, for some reason, it gives me an error saying you're not. You're Hi, not uh, allowed to Hi. stream. Stranger, it could not be the case. Uh, can you make me my make me the host? Let me try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one second. Hmm. Can you try now, Rita, yeah, once? Yeah, I'm trying it. Sure. Yeah. Hi, Kuna. Hi, Nadi. Hmm? Hi, from Facebook. Hi, Mary. Thank I'm doing it now. For those who doesn't have video yet, so please Please on your video and pl please use our background <laughs> video <laughs> video camera. Please on your camera, please. <laughs> please on your camera. I'm in trouble with the background sitting. <laughs> I go to the city now and then I. It's with a viewer on live now. Thank you. I add the image. Girl life. Sim doesn't work. I don't know how to do this. Sure. No problem. I'll send it to you now. No problem. I'll send it to you now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Maria, oh, yeah. I just had you to Telegram. Can you check? Okay. Hi, Maria. Hi. Yeah, I I, I chat to you in the Telegram. I'm trouble in sitting my background. Okay. I go to the sitting and then we add the image, but it seems like it doesn't work. I don't know how to do this. So just the image. Yeah. So in, in the background, you will see choose the image and then it will have a prompt message. So it will, uh, the Zoom will ask you to download something for you to use your background without the green screen. Okay. 
just click yes. Once it completed, it, you can use the background already. Hi, Jacker. So we can have a two minutes more to wait for the other participants. So we can have, Avin, can we have some music first? <coughs> You don't have your backdrop. I have my backdrop. Huh? But I can't see. Erita, apologies. I don't know why my, my mobile cannot. Uh, okay. Somehow it doesn't show that uh, background uh, menu. Okay. Yeah. Apologies. That's okay. That's okay. Wow. Rashida is here. <coughs> So we have two more coming, joining. They're yeah. now 32. 33. Who's still joining us today, tonight? Um, I, I, I have nothing. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse is Rick there? Rick Joya? Not here, right? Rick? Not here yet. I think, I think we can start. Okay. Sweden, do you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the interest of time, because, um, yeah. Okay, okay. So let's start. And then, uh, Abby, can you, can you me move? Yeah. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. So I would like to introduce to you to uh, Miss Rita, okay, to start our uh, party tonight. So let's welcome Miss Rita Chui, um, the founder of Asia HRM. Hello, good evening, everyone. So <laughs> good evening, Rita. Good evening. Hi. Thank you, thank you, Rita. <laughs> good evening, Rita. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> So welcome to the very first HRM year, year end party tonight. So before we officially share the start the fun program, I think there is an echo, right? Yes. Okay. Can any and can everybody mute yourselves if you don't mind? Okay. Okay. So before we officially start the program today, I would like to share with you a story, okay, of how HHRM was set up. Okay, so when I was working as a regional human resources manager overseeing Asia in, in, uh, in, the, in the aspect of HR, I had the pain of connecting with human resources professionals of different countries in Asia. And I was not able to get the best practices in each of the country and also to get the right people in order to get my HR projects done. 
because of this, I decided that I start, I need to start a HR community two years back when I was living in Singapore. And uh, I envisioned that it will be the biggest and the most reliable knowledge sharing platform for human resources professional in Asia for resolving all the work related challenges. We also hope that with this uh, community will help our HR professionals to well equip themselves in the areas of their HR skills and knowledge, as well as to help them to prosper in their career by not just taking up a local HR role, but they can also widen their scope in the regional level. Therefore, besides setting aside a sharing platform on different social media, such as WhatsApp, WeChat, Telegram, Facebook group, we also arranged different kinds of uh, value added activities, such as the uh, monthly sharing sessions, okay, and the HR program in Q2, okay, in quarter two of this year. And also, we undertook a survey on the future of human resources in the next 12 months. And started this quarter, we, we had the first human resources mastermind session. Okay, and then uh, and also a few local sessions in the pipeline. We also have the book club at, of different time frame to suit the people, different people in uh, in Asia, because we all we all think that we leaders are readers, right? So we all want to be leaders as well. And then also we are now in the discussion with a university in uh, India on organizing a monthly sharing session for their students. So if you're interested to challenge yourself on training some of uh, on training the university students, just let us know, we will have the opportunities for you. Okay, so, and you know, I cannot just uh, run this uh, community by, us, by myself, right? We are, I cannot walk alone, especially in these two years time. So I, taking this opportunity, I would like to thank uh, for a number of people who really are uh, givers and then also help me to uh, work hand in hand in this journey. And uh, firstly, I cannot go without saying big thank you to my core committee members. They are, let me take a look at them. Uh, it's Marie. So Marie, just uh, show your hands, Marie and Abby. And Foster is not here yet, right? So I will I'll give him a big thank you later on then. And Abby, you have to let the people in there. Some of them are in the waiting room, okay? Okay, so um, so without them, I could not, we could not have organized so many activities. And, and also I have to thank the speakers for our monthly sharing sessions. And some of them actually, are, they are a bit late for the, for the session, to, uh, for the party today. So I could not thank them now, but I could do that later on. And they are such as, uh, actually Andrew is here, right? Andrew So, who was one of the speakers yeah. in, uh, in the uh, sharing session. Thank you, Andrew. And Max is not here yet, right? George is not here yet. So I will have to thank them later. Uh, actually for George and Max, they were also, besides the speakers in, one, in some of our sharing sessions, they were also the uh, trainers and mentors, mentors for the uh, HR certification program that we have in quarter two. And then in Q3, we, we talk about the survey, right? So I have to say a big thank you, give a big thank you to, I'm not sure if Lawrence is here. Lawrence, Lawrence is here. I, I, I think Lawrence hey, is here. Oh, but he's not, he's not showing his face. But anyway, I think you can hear me, right? So Lawrence, I have yeah, to say course. a big thank you to you for your big support in making the survey a success. And Lawrence is the... Wow, okay, Lawrence is the uh, president of the HRFC uh, Association in, uh, in Singapore, and he's also the founder of um, AIM, right? Association for Mentoring uh, in, in uh, Singapore as well. And second one is, uh, I'm not sure Sam has joined us. I don't know what you, right? Anyway, so you I didn't see Sam yet. Yeah, so can everybody mute yourself? Otherwise, I cannot carry on. <laughs> okay, thank you. So for Lawrence, besides Lawrence, Sam, at least I would, I'll give him a big thank you later on when he has joined us. And Dr. Yogesh, uh, my good friend, yes. who is a supporter of the survey. Dr. Yogesh, thank you. And thank you. Uh, uh, Rashida and his team, 
the Bangladesh FMCG HR Society. And Mr. Hossein was not joining us today, but I also have thanked him a lot for being a supporter for the survey. And also Mr. Uh, Hiriento, he's not joining us today. And Zulu from Malaysia, my good friend. Are you here? Wow, actually he's having a family dinner, but he's still joining us. Okay, thank you. He's the man in Malaysia. He's so well known in Malaysia when he said yes, everybody just swallowed him, okay? So, <laughs> so, and besides, and also June from Hong Kong. Thank you, June. And also Darren from Philippines, but he's not joining us today. So big, big thank you to all of these good, great people. And then <clears throat> coming up, actually, I'm, not, I'm going to share with you the mastermind session and just two slides. But I so happen that uh, not all the country leads are here today. But, ne but never mind, I just give it a try. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, what is a mastermind session? Actually, uh, in a mastermind session, a group of like-minded people, like HR professionals, uh, will sit together to discuss on common topic, on some of the HR topics. And we, we learn by exchanging our experience and knowledge on that particular topic. And this is how we learn from each other. So we started the Asia one in November, and then we schedule it on the last Wednesday at nine o'clock Hong Kong time. So all of you are welcome to join us. And besides the Asia mastermind session, we also have the local, local mastermind session. <clears throat> so these are the leaders of each of the country. Okay, so uh, I would like to thank Mr. Jekka, who will be the country lead for Bangladesh. Jekka, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Jekka. Dr. Shona, are you here? Not yet, right? Okay. So, Zhu, our man in Malaysia, you're getting your time. Okay. So, he will be the country lead for Malaysia. And then Marie from Cam uh, for Cambodia. Marie? Are you going to say hello to everybody, Marie? Can't hear you. Hello. Hi. Okay, Kia is not joining us today, and Dia is not joining us today. Cecilia, are you here? Cecilia? Not yet. Okay. Cecilia will be the head for Hong Kong. Okay, so these are the givers who will be willing to spend their time and effort in making the local session great. So we, again, once again, we, and these are the schedule for each of the session for each of the country. Okay, again, if you're interested, just uh, let us know. We will, we will certainly uh, uh, get you in one of these uh, sessions, okay? So um, let me see. Okay, Foster is not here yet, right? Foster, are you here? Not yet, right? So Foster started a few book clubs in Asia at different time, time zone. And uh, but apart from saying big thank yous to different groups of people, of course, I need to say big thank you for the working committee of this uh, uh, year-end party. And they are Marie, Abby, Carmen, Mr. Siobhan, Lynn, Laurisan, June, Dina, uh, Sharon, Kuna, Jacka, Jackie, Jacka, Mr. Cam Rasaman, I don't know whether he's here yet. Mr. Rasman, was uh, Rasran, Chrissy, Michelle and Tony, a big salute to all of you. Did I miss out anybody who I should, I should uh, uh, thank them for all the good things that they have done for Asia Child M? Of course, it's all of you, right? So I would like to thank all of you for some, who have been supporting Asia Child, Child M, like Ad, Adeline, uh, Le, Lynch, and, the, and a lot, a lot of HR, uh, him, uh, Asia Child M friends. Okay, so I understand that we have a, a very exciting program ahead of us. And without further ado, I would like to pass the control to our MC tonight, Ms. Marie Santos, who is our core committee member, very experienced HR manager and a very talented uh, MC, master of ceremony. So Marie, it's your show time. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Ms. Rita. Thank you very much. So, Welcome, welcome tonight. Okay, so this is our first ever year-end party uh, of Asia HRM, so a community of H HR professional. We share to care, we care to share. Okay, our tagline. So uh, for tonight, we have a lot of um, 
excitement, exciting um, performances, games, icebreakers, awards in store for you. So we have, so we have performances from five different countries, and also we have special awards, early bird. Okay, we have male star of the night, female star of the night, crowd's favorite, best performance, and best performer. And of course, okay, we'll have, um, we would like to thank Mr. Andrew Song for, for your generosity for granting us a one hour uh, session, okay, for training as our, uh, as part of our prizes for tonight. Okay. So let's begin our uh, year end party with with the icebreaker, okay? From Mr. Shibam. Shibam, are Hello. you there? Are you ready with your icebreaker? Yes. Thank you so much. So I'll just share my screen as we move into our icebreaker. And Kuna. Okay, so Kuna and, Sh and Shivam prepared some ice icebreaker for us to start the evening. Okay, everyone, L give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen. Okay, so you can see my screen, great. Now, give me a hi in the chat if you can still see my screen because you are going to need to type in the chat box if you are going to win some prizes. So send me a hi, come on. <laughs> in the chat box. Wow, you have a lot of hi. Hi, sir, yes. coming up. <laughs> Remember, there's prizes. So. Yes, there is prizes. So you need to be able to access the chat box if you want to win the prizes. Yeah. OK, OK, so I think we are all set. OK, so I'm sure uh, 2020 is, has been a year which uh, all of us want to get rid of as soon as possible and get on with 2021. Uh, and of course, I'm sure that as uh, HR professionals, all of us uh, would have had a lot of tough conversations, critical experiences, and I'm not sure how all well we would have adopted our engagement activities this year. So as part of Icebreaker, uh, we are bringing you one activity. Uh, I don't think uh, as HR professionals, you will find the activity itself as something new. But the only twist is that it is dedicated to you as HR professionals and it has a HR team. So we'll have a couple of uh, short activities. Let's move on with our first activity. And remember, for each activity, you have a prize which is there for the winning. So be quick. OK, so let's look at our first activity. Uh, I'm sure some of you would have seen it. Uh, it's called as Two Truths and One Lie. So what we are going to do is uh, I'm going to display some real life HR experiences of an HR professional on the screen. However, I'll, display, I'll be displaying three experiences out of which two will be truths, but one will be a blatant lie. And the person who guesses which one is a lie will receive a prize. And of course, the first person who puts the right answer in the chat box is going to be declared the winner. In case somebody has multiple guesses, only your first guess will be counted. Okay, so Rita, can I uh, can I request you to uh, declare the winner as we go through this activity? So okay. we look at the chat box and whoever gives the right answer, which I'll also show on the screen, whoever gives the right answer first will be declared the winner. And Rita yeah. will be our judge, of course, for this activity. Sure, sure. My pleasure. Okay. Yeah. So of course, we'll first have a quick practice because in this world of digital, we don't know what all will come as a surprise. So let's have a practice challenge first before we move on to, to the real challenge. So okay. Are you ready? Everyone excited. Okay, great. So here's our practice your challenge. I'm ready. sorry, no prizes for this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so three statements on the screen and you have to guess first which one of these three statements is a blatant lie. Put your answers in the chat box. Okay, we are seeing some answers coming up very quickly. Okay, C, C seems to be a popular choice. Okay. So let's see what is the 
answer for our practice challenge. And the right answer is <laughs> yes. So statement C was a blatant lie. Now oh, this one was a bit easy. So can, can we ask our judge to validate? Is Dr. Yogesh the winner of the practice challenge? Yes, Am I you're correct, right. Yes, yes, you're right. Dr. Yogesh is okay, there. Okay, Dr. Yogesh. <laughs> so you win the practice round. I'm sorry, sir. We don't have a prize for this round, but I think this sets you up for the next two rounds for which we'll have the prizes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, everybody. Okay. Now the real question is coming. Be ready to answer this. The first challenge, this comes from my own experience. Again, to remind you three statements, you have to select which one is a lie. So your three statements are there on the screen. I'm sure you have had many such experiences yourself. Can you guess which one of this is a lie? Okay, we'll take a minute as answers keep coming in. Okay, okay, I think we have enough answers. So let's see which one is the right answer. Although I, if I see it correctly, there seems to be A and B seems to be leading the pack. Okay, okay. And the correct answer once again, just like the practice challenge is statement C. So in fact, uh, I know as a HR professional, we have all would have had some of these crazy experiences. And fortunately or unfortunately, I've been there where I had to actually respond to an emergency situation where in a remote location, one of our employees in a factory location, uh, they attempted suicide. And I was the one who was called by employees to respond to this emergency situation. And it, it's a crisis and you can't actually wait for anybody else while you would want to call a doctor, you would want to call possibly your legal team. But at that point of time, you have to actually respond to somebody who is thinking about taking their own life. And of course, uh, I, I'm sure that all of us who have spent enough years in HR uh, would have had some or the other experience of being a detective where you see that, okay, some concern, uh, ethics issue is raised to you. And I actually got a chance to work with the local police on one of these concerns, which was raised to us. Uh, the third statement, it is a lie. Uh, in fact, I've had had chances to talk to employees regarding illegal Facebook posts, but I've never yet had a chance to talk to Facebook themselves. So this one was a lie. Okay, okay. And it, I think somebody asked a question whether it was a personal Facebook or company official. It was actually a personal Facebook where an employee put, a, put up an illegal statement and the, then the company's marketing handle was tagged saying that, okay, are these the kind of people you employ who say things like these? So that is where the legal team, the marketing team, they, did, they were not sure what to do and it came down to HR because it was a personal account. So what, what, what can we actually do in this case? Okay, so am I right uh, that Christina was the first one to answer it correctly? Rita, am I correct in uh, saying that? Or is it someone else? Okay, because, I see oh, Roberta answered before Christina. Uh, because you know you have so many ABC to mix up with the, the yes. practice. So it may I I have difficulty in identifying what are the alphabet, what are the okay. answers for this one. Okay. So I, let, let then let, let let me go with what I was tracking on my end. So I yeah. see that Roberta answered the uh, first as C for this option. Then okay. we had Christina right. and then we had Tony sir. So, so then it's Christina. Christina. Uh, Roberta, I think. Roberta. Roberta. Okay, so okay. Kana, you have to write down his name. Con so that congratulations, Roberta. But it's okay. Yeah. There are there are more prizes to be won. There are more prizes coming up. So don't <laughs> worry. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. And challenge two is starting. I think Rita has already put the tag now, challenge two now, <laughs> yeah. so that any answers below that can be tracked properly. Thank yeah, you, Rita. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So ready? Here's the challenge two for you. Okay. 
Okay, so the three statements are there on the screen. One second. Which one is a lie? Okay, again, A and B seem to be popular options. HR, I taught how to use Microsoft Teams. I said, HR, I counsel someone from parenting. Okay, B seems to be pretty popular. We'll wait for a few more seconds as the responses come in. Okay, just a recap. So for challenge number one, okay, Roberta um, got it. So Carmen, please. Okay, I'm ready. Thank you, Carmen. I cannot find you on chat, Carmen. I say hi in the <laughs> chat group. <laughs> oh, because I want to, to, to send you the names. Okay. So it's easy, right? Okay, so let, let's have a look at what are the right answers. What is the right answer for this challenge? Yeah. And the right answer is B. B. What does the HR I taught us you how to use Microsoft oh. Impact statement? A and C are correct. And if I am now tracking it correctly, I think Michelle gave the right answer first. Michelle, Michelle Boone. Yeah. Congratulations, Michelle. Michelle. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Michelle. Congratulations, you, Michelle. You'll, you'll find out soon what is the price, but I'm sure it's it's very, very valuable price. Yeah. But don't worry, everyone. We, we still have actually some more prizes. But before we head into that, I wanted to talk about, uh, I wanted to actually invite Lynn here to share her experiences about these statements. Uh, Lynn, are you there? Yeah, hello, hi, hi. Hi, Lynn. Okay, very interestingly, uh, when we talk about the HR experiences, um, I think we just want to share a little bit on um, some interesting experiences that we have. And um, once I partnered to um, similarly compatible colleagues during the team building, um, eventually they ended up together. Uh, just so you know, the HR has a first-hand information on the uh, colleagues who are marital status when they are single, right? We don't anyhow um, match make anyone who are uh, already married, right? So it happens that these two colleagues, um, they, they really show interest with one another. And we thought, my, my team members thought that it's a good time to actually put them together in a team uh, through the activities of the team building. And uh, truly, they ended up together. That was a truly good bonding sessions. Um, not only for work, but also for personal life. Yeah. Um, the other one is um, pretty much on once as a HR, I counsel someone on parenting. Uh, this is pretty much um, interesting. Uh, we have a colleague uh, working in finance department. Every now and then, the mother will call my team members, complain about company is making her daughter cry when the daughter got home. So very interestingly, one day I took over the quarrel and I talked to the mother. I said, uh, what happened? She said, oh, what have uh, you guys let my daughters uh, uh, do every day that uh, when she came home, she will be crying, stressed up, and then she will break down. She has no appetite. And uh, what have the, 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 the company has been uh, loading her? So I said, that, well, when your daughter are not able to talk to the supervisor on the load or or actually ask the supervisor on how to handle the work and need the mother to actually uh, call the companies um, and ask the company what the company has done to the daughter. I think you have to keep the daughter at home uh, because uh, you don't even know how to teach your daughter <laughs> how to manage a social life, uh, I mean, a work life. I mean, it was pretty interesting because the daughter is really 27 years old. Yeah. That's Thank all. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of us can actually connect with many such experiences. I think as HR professionals, we play different roles throughout our career. Sometimes when our offices is being renovated, we are considered the interior designer who can give <laughs> the best ideas on how to design the office. Sometimes when there is a startup and we don't have a legal team, then HR becomes the legal and compliance champion to ensure that we are doing everything right. And sometimes we are just even a family member when one of the employees needs a shoulder to cry on. And our theme for tonight actually celebrates these various avatars of HR 
that you and I play. I congratulate congratulate each one of you for having successfully survived 2020 as HR professionals, and I wish you the best for many more successful experiences for all of us in 2021. May we be able to play all these avatars to the best of our ability. With this, let me take you to the second part of our challenge, which celebrates the ancient history of our professional, uh, of our profession, ancient history of HR. So there are two more prizes to one, to be to uh, to be won. Let's move on to the next activity. Okay, avatars, are you ready for the next uh, activity? Again, it's very simple. Uh, there will be two questions linked to the early history of HR, which will be displayed on the screen. The first person to give the right answer in the chat box wins a prize. There will still be a practice question with no prize, so that we can practice that we are able to see everything. One interesting thing is that while there are no options, you are allowed to Google on your phones if you want to Google to find the answers. So please keep your phones ready if you want to actually win some cool prizes. If there is no right answer within first two minutes, then we will declare it as a no win. Okay. So quickly, you will have to answer the question which is on there in the screen. Put your answers in the chat box. You are allowed to Google and to find the answers if you want to. Okay. So let let let's do the practice question okay. first. Okay. And Rita, I'll track the winners, but please help me validate if I'm tracking it correctly. We'll do. We'll do. Okay. Thank you. So let's see our first practice challenge. Okay. So in the year 2000, France introduced a legal working week of 35 hours. However, things were not always the same. Over 150 years ago, the French Revolution of 1848 resulted in an overthrow of the last French king and establishment of right to work. But this revolution also achieved an important improvement in working conditions, which was to define the maximum working day. How long do you think was this working day, which was achieved through this French Revolution of 1848? Yes, Sharon, open book test. <laughs> okay, so we have eight hours from Patricia and Buen, twelve hours from Jess, and eight hours seems post very popular. Tony, twelve hours. Okay, so we only have two options which have come in now. Okay, we have an option from Vietnam, I think, which is at twenty hours. 18 10 okay so you wait for 10 more seconds what was the working day as achieved through the french revolution of 1848 okay i i think now patricia has has come up with a different answer from 8 hours i'm sorry patricia we'll we'll still have to consider it 8 hours okay okay So let me reveal the right answer. The right answer is twelve hours. Oh. So oh. in the oh. French Revolution of eighteen forty eight, which which had which actually resulted into the overthrow of the last French king, one of the things that was achieved by the revolutionaries was to define the working day as a twelve hour working day, and of course later the eight hour work day was actually picked up as a first topic to be discussed by the international labor organization ilo and which resulted into the 1919 convention about hours of working which defined it as 8 hours as the goal which happened in 1919 but in 1848 uh, through the french revolution the french actually achieved 12 hours a day and they have come a long time since then coming to 35 hours a week in two th in, our, in 2000 20 years ago So thank you, and let me see who has actually won this yes. challenge. Yes, Jess was the first yes. one to come up with twelve hours. Congratulations, Jess! Thank you. So I think there is no need to validate, Rita. I think Jess is the winner. Yes, you are right. Okay, great. But this was a practice challenge, so this was an easy question, Jess. <laughs> I'm sorry, we do not have a prize for this one. But I think you can still win the two more actual questions which are coming up. Okay, everybody. So two more questions coming up for ancient HR history. Here's your challenge number one, which will have a prize. Okay.
So if you would have read yesterday, there was news that the Kenyan doctors have called off their strike over issues such as lack of PPE and delayed pay. So while they are dealing with the pandemic, they were protesting over lack of PPE availability and their pay being delayed. However, these kind of strikes are happening all across the world and these are nothing new. More than 3000 years ago, during a period of economic instability and high inflation, a group of workers resorted to what is possibly the first set of strikes in recorded history over delay in supplies, including wheat rations. In which country did these strikes happen? The first recorded strikes in history over delay in supplies. Okay, we have a lot of answers coming up. So we have, okay, Egypt seems to be pretty popular. Okay, we have US as another answer. We have Google as an answer. <laughs> Japan, Rome, okay. Okay, so we'll wait 10 more seconds to see. Okay, we have New York as one of the answers. Okay, Rome. Okay, so let me reveal the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer actually is Egypt. And Jess, yes, you are correct. It was uh, for Ramses is three. You are absolutely right. Although I'm, I know you are not the first person to answer this. Uh, around 1170 BC, the tomb laborers who were actually creating temples and tombs for the 30 year celebration of King Ramses III, they actually reverted to the first strike action as they were frustrated with delays in supplies that they needed to do their job and to survive at that location. And they actually put their tools down. And this is considered by many as one of the first sit down strike actions in recorded history. And this actually just went on for a lot of time. In fact, there were further complaints like this throughout the next 40 to 50 years, even after the initial dispute. And as we have seen possibly as HR professionals, a lot of times these industrial relations dispute, they come in a period of high economic instability. So this was a period where Egypt was just coming off a very large war, which was putting up pressure on their finances. And then this kind of an extravagant building was actually going on. And this kind of a scenario resulted into this first sit in strike. So let me see who actually got the first answer. The answer it's, correct word. It's Shatil. Shatil. Congratulations, Shatil. Congratulations, Thank you, everyone. Shatil. Thank you. And a big thanks to Google. Ah, big thanks to Google. <laughs> oh, you're very fast. <laughs> and, and I'm sure. Yeah, yeah I am, uh, right. <laughs> all of you, okay. if, it, uh, if you find this interesting, do read about this. Uh, I, I think, yes, there have been 3,000 years, but we see that whenever economic uncertainty comes, these are the kind of challenges that come, right? And as HR professionals, we can actually possibly play a critical role in these kind of scenarios. So do read about this if you get a chance. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. And congratulations, Shatil. Thank you. Okay, so we have our next prize, which is up for the grass, which is challenge two, the last question for this icebreaker challenge. I hope you are ready. Okay, and here it is on your screens now. This king ruled over a massive empire centered in what is modern day Iraq. His reign over 3,500 years ago provided one of the oldest examples of setting up standard minimum wages and can be considered one of the oldest examples of labor laws. Who was this king? Okay, we have Cyrus as the first answer. Alexander, Julius Caesar. So we have a lot of great kings coming up in the chat box now, visiting us. Okay, we have another Alexander. I just guess. <laughs> okay, we have Nebuchadnezzar. I'm sorry, I'm not aware of this king, but yes. So I'm sorry, Andrew, I think I've revealed that this would not be the correct answer because I said I'm not aware of this. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, 
Okay, so let me tell you, I'm still awaiting the correct answer. And this is the toughest question of the icebreaker challenge. King Edward III, okay. Still waiting for the right answer. Who is going to win the final prize for the icebreaker challenge? Okay, so 10 more seconds. We have Hammurabi. And we have Christina saying, I'm back. I am back. <laughs> Hi, Christina, you're back. What is All your right. answer? Please write in Christina, chat. We'll, we'll wait 10 seconds for you in case you want to answer. Okay. Is, <laughs> is that the Terminator? <laughs> if, if you answered already, you cannot answer, right? You cannot answer anymore, yeah. correct? Yeah. Oh, I lost my chance already. The, but the stories I've read, uh, Andrew, I think some people might like to call him the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> the right answer that is there. <laughs> okay, so let me let me reveal the right answer for this uh, question. The right answer is what actually Jess gave. So it is King Hammurabi. He was a king oh. of the first Babylonian dynasty. And the picture you see, the second picture, is the Code of Hammurabi, which actually list, which list, listed several edicts or rules, as you can call, which were to be followed during his reign. And actually, many of these rules were something which were related to payment of wages and conditions and they can actually be called as a precursor to law so in fact he for he was the first one the to set minimum code. wages so he set up things like how much a ox driver or a sailor will actually be will receive how much a doctor will receive for treating different patients these are the kind of things that he actually set up so jess congratulations i think you are the winner of this challenge Wow. Congratulations, Jess. Finally, yes, Jess. Yes. <laughs> Finally, Jess. You won. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations, winners. Uh, that's it from my side uh, for the icebreaker. Can, can I so pass I just on want to you, to... Marie? Yes. Yes, thank you, Shivan. Uh, so I want to, uh, to do a recap. So uh, the winners of our icebreaker, we have Roberta, Michelle Woon, Shatil Hassan, and Jess. Congratulations to all of you. Now, uh, congratulations. So we just finished our uh, icebreaker. So before we start with our country perform performances, so Avin will play a video for you. Okay, from, Dr. Uh, from Lawrence. Lawrence, thank you for this wonderful video. Let's all watch together. By at last time, my just on virus not gone. Christmas is here, where's all the children? 2020, we have plenty. We'll stay at home, be all alone. Don't Santa sneak, keep clear of me. Shopping online, quiet and lies. Your gifts are masked, no need to us. No caroling, Zoom as we sing. Life's overboard because we're bored. screen we're over covid it has really been unkind bring on 21 this year is done let's leave all this crap behind 2020 has been a blot let us leave it all behind hope for the future we have got 2021 be fine Green days 
place of social gatherings, no toilet paper lines, in person, no more Zoom meetings, 2021 be fine. Merry Christmas. That is a very nice nice video for christmas just in time for this year because as you know this year is <laughs> hey, we survive 2020 and congratulations to all of us we survive yeah. okay so now let's start with our country performance okay are you excited Yes. So, everybody's excited. So first country performance of the night is from Bangladesh. So let's all welcome Mr. Jacker uh, from Bangladesh. He's, he's going to sing a um, Bangladesh country song. Jacker, are you ready? Okay. So I will unmute you. Please. Please unmute. Okay. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, I was waiting a long time. Thank you, Shivam. It was a great game to play. And uh, let's start with uh, playing one of my native country songs. It's a very popular song in Bangladesh and sung and uh, mastered and composed by one of the greatest guitarists and the singer of Bangladesh named Mr. Ayub Bachu. He actually is no more. He actually was considered one of the uh, best guitarists in entire Asian continent. So the song I'm going to sing, it's uh, one of the most popular song. We sometimes we call it uh, from the band music called Shay to Me, kind of national anthem. So all my native country people are here, uh, have heard of this song. So let's start. The song's called uh, Shay to Me in, in English. Uh, uh, I think uh, it is you. Well. Tomake 
ছাড়াই আমি অসহায় আমার সবটুকু ভালোবাসা তোমায় ঘিরে আমার অপরা ছিল যতটুকু তোমার কাছে তুমি ক্ষমা করে song so i would like to remind all the performers um this is this is uh, uh we have a prize for you right so we have a marking sheet so everyone is uh judge our judges so everyone are part of the the poll okay so everyone's are free to judge is going to be the best performer and the best performance country performance so jacker um Thank you for that wonderful, wonderful song. Uh, Avin will share to you the criteria of judging. So before we, we continue with Malaysia, so I would like to share to you the marking sheet. So how to judge the per country performances. Can I go ahead, uh, Marie? Can I share? Please, please share. Yeah. Yes, please share, Avin, the screen. Okay, so these are the marking sheet for sheet for country performance. Okay, so criteria number one, creativity. Okay, 20 marks, teamwork, 20 marks. Okay, expression, style and performance, tempo total of 100%. Okay, so please note. So of course, since Jacker is a solo singer, right? So teamwork doesn't apply to him, right? So it would fall under style and performance is 40 percent for solo performer okay for solo performer it's going to be 20 for group performers so we have teamwork okay so please take note please do your uh your scoring and then later we will take a poll 
who's going to be the best country performance and um, performer of the night. Okay. Everybody agree on this one? Sure. Okay, thank you very yep. much. Thank yep. you, Avin. So let's now welcome the Malaysia group. Okay, Malaysia HR, headed by Norisan, Kuna, and Sharon. Okay, are you ready, guys? They're going to sing a Malay song. Okay, are you ready? Okay. okay. Let's give them a round of applause. The floor is yours. Uh, okay. Is it is it okay to to play the? Uh, Abin, please help them yeah, play I, the music, please. I have it ready. Whenever you okay. want me, I can go. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's coming up. Thank you, Abin. Layan dan juga petani, layan hidup tidak berubah. Anak-anak terasuh tanya, lahirnya narasi, lahirnya narasi tidak pandang. Akar api pakar ekonomi, jago suka menjutawan, kerana negara. Shirt. 
I'm wearing a Kuala Lumpur shirt. <laughs> nice, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Malaysia. Okay. So Thank you. next is uh, uh, from Indonesia. Miss Dina, are you ready? Miss Dina. So our next country performer is from Indonesia, Miss Dina. So she's hey, going hello. to sing. Hello, I'm ready. Yeah. A solo singer. Okay, hey, ready? how are you? Okay, so um, I I don't know if um any of the participants uh the one who join our parties from Indonesia, but if you are um inviting you to join me, um, so if not, then I'm going to sing it uh just by myself without music, but my daughter who just happened to be with me will be accompanying me uh, to sing the song, yeah? So I just want to check if there are um, anyone from Indonesia in, the, in this call? Um, anyone? No? So anyone from Indonesia can join Miss Dina. Hello, Miss Dina. Oh, Putri, Putri, would you like to hey, join Miss hey, Dina? Putri. Hello. Hi, okay. Putri, let's yes. join me. Uh, let's sing the uh, song by Ibu Sud, Tanah Airku. Yeah, yes, I believe okay. you know that song, okay? Yeah, we'll try. Yeah. Uh, you want to Google the lyric first? So yes, while I you are, you. or you, you remember yes. it by heart? Yes. Oh, that's very good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Yes. So the three of us will, will do it. Yeah. Okay, so let's start. Um, one, two, three. I'll, I'll start and then uh, you just follow. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Tanah air ku tidak ku lupakan Kan terkenang selama hidupku Biarpun saya pergi jauh, tidakkan hilang dari kau. Tanahku yang ku cinta. Engkau ku hargai Walaupun banyak negeri ku jalani Yang masyur bermani kata orang tetapi kampung dan rumahku di sana laku rasa senang tanah tak ku lupa. Kau bangga akan tanahku yang ku cintai. Kau ku harga. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for joining. Thank you. Wow, that was very wow. nice. Very nice. Awesome. Thank you all. Awesome. Thank you, Putri. It's uh, on the spot, but Putri, you did really good. And also, Miss yeah. Dina, you have a very nice voice. Thanks. Thanks. So thank you very much, Indonesia. Okay. So now... Let's go to Hong Kong. Are you ready to see Hong Kong? Hey, Hong Kong performers, 
Okay, are you ready? Carmen, Come on. Jules. Let's see yeah. how Rita dance. <laughs> I want to see Rita dance on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, this is Jude. Um, uh, actually, this is my pleasure um, to, to introduce our Hong Kong team. We call it, um, we are the magic four to introduce uh, our HR story in two duos. Uh, even though it's very tough years for um, our HR to deal with people issued. Uh, fortunately, we are working together to overcome the difficulties. Not to enjoy our beautiful silent nights. Um, um, uh, with sparkling shine in Hong Kong sun and lights. Um, uh, later on, we will introduce a, 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 a videos, and then I will pass uh, another to our teammate. First, uh, is first uh, here. Maybe maybe can can share your 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 story to us. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, Foster is there. He's so Foster. Yeah, Foster is here. <laughs> Foster, I pass to Foster first. <laughs> oh, how about how about how about Canon? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I think it's a yes. We it's a very challenging year because we most of our employees work from home and we have a lot of uh uh what lots of new uh. Put, uh, policy in our work so I just wish all of you to save health and also be happy in the coming year yeah yes hello Foster yeah let me say something thank you comments that's great how about, yeah. how about Foster yeah Merry Christmas so we are Hong Kong people cannot travel like you are uh, <laughs> but we are so glad that we can connect with people in Asia through Asia HRM. Uh, that's very great. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yes, thank you, Foster. And Christina, how about Christina? Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. Hello, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. We all okay. hear you. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, hi, everybody. Merry Christmas. Um, yes, 2020 is a very, very difficult year for everyone. And I trust that with good faith and with perseverance, we will have a great leap for 2021 going forward. I think all of us has to be very strong and then um, Together, we will fight the pandemic. We survive. Okay. Yes, thank you all of us from our Hong Kong team. So that's why um, hopefully you will enjoy our introductions for a Hong Kong sparkling uh, silence night. We, we're looking forward. We have a very good year um, to 2021. Is it? Uh, yes, I share the share the picture. Is it the video? Yeah. The video. Okay. Is it I share? Is it I share yeah. the okay, video? Yeah. Now we can uh, see. Uh, it. Mary? Oh, Mary, you will you will you will share the pictures. Yeah, we're seeing now. We're seeing it now, June. Oh, you share? Okay, okay, that's great. That's great. That's great. You can see it now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you everyone um, uh, uh, for this year. Understand everyone is very tough year, particular um, in, in the HR issue. Yeah. Okay. So are you going to sing? Yes. <laughs> Carmen, Forster, yeah, I'm ready. Ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah, ready. Everyone is waiting. <laughs> yeah, just Maybe intro. Like right to intro. <laughs> Yes, okay, are you ready? So in on cue, I will count one, two, three, three, go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we also have the YouTube video. Yes, we okay. have the video. Oh, the... Yes. Abby, Abby, oh, yeah, this yeah, yeah. Them. <laughs> they have Is the it... video. I have it ready. Should I go ahead? Okay. Yes, please. Please okay. go ahead. Coming up. Thank you. Everybody's excited to hear them. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, everyone. Um, this is a, we have, uh, no matter how hard we are, we stay positive and looking forward. So that's why we would like to in, uh, invite everyone to sing a song with us together. It's um, Joy to the World. <laughs> it's next night, yes. And just um, <laughs> Please click the, the song, please. <laughs> no, click the song, please. Yeah, uh, but, uh, the video, the video. The, the video. The video down. Yeah. I don't have see have the video. Oh, do you see the video? That one, Avin. Huh? Yeah, this is just just that a one. photograph. I don't. No, no, it's a video. There's a play button. Okay, just 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 a, that's, just a, just that's a, a slide. That's a slide control. Oh, okay. No, um, it's okay. Um, the, uh, Hong Kong team is going to to sing "Joy to the World." Yeah, we can sing without the music. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to sing without without music. So it's an a cappella joy to the world from Hong Kong. Yeah. Can you hear the music right now? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah, hear yeah, it. yeah. We can. Should I stop sharing? You want to share your screen or sing sing together? Sing together. Yeah, yeah. Can you sing together right now? Yeah. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let all the streets have a king. Let the earth be hard. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior did. But now the song and cry. What is anxious? What is anxious? We keep sounding joys. We keep the sounding joys. We keep the sounding joys. We keep the sounding joys. This is our Hong Kong team are prepared to us. Uh, we look forward to some um, uh, full of the blessing and peaceful in total one. And uh, thank you, everyone, um, uh, Christina, Carmen, and Foster. Thank you. Wow. Thank, you. thank you. We are the magic wow. for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for your performance. Thank you, thank you magic for Enjoy your singing. Enjoy the song. I, I would have been happier if Foster can dance. <laughs> We're waiting for that, right? I'm, the I'm, is going to dance. Oh, Foster, I'm going to minus point because you didn't dance. Can <laughs> yeah, we have Foster a solo performance? <laughs> okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. So thank you very much. And then the last performer. Okay, country performer of the night. Okay, it's a secret performance, so everyone's waiting for it. Okay, it's from oh. Singapore. Okay, so Lin. Okay, are you ready, Lin? So I guess they said it's a secret. Uh, I guess it's a secret are. performance. Yeah, but then um, unfortunately, I am not the lead. So the the the. Okay, the so we have Andrew, Adeline, our, Jessica. The roses. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew song. Oh, Andrew. oh. So we have Andrew, 
we have Andrew, we have uh, Jessica, and Jessica and, and Lynn. Lynn. Yes, yeah. um, and I realized that um, we have um, a number of our Singapore um, team members actually uh, join this party. We have Evan, and um, and uh, I think we have uh, caught uh, Patricia, Michelle, and also uh, Lawrence from Singapore. Am I right? Yeah, Lawrence. Yes, well. yes. Uh, I'm sure that um, when we are going to do this performance, all of you will be very proud and uh, very familiar. And um, thanks to Andrew for leading, leading this. Um, uh, how am I going to start this, Andrew? Are we going to have a slide or no? Or just uh, recite the thing? I think, uh, I think the screen is coming up. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I, I, I guess Singapore is a very, very small dot on the map, in case you can't find, where are we? We are the smallest in the world, uh, but we have a very big heart, right? And, um, and I'm sure that after today, you will remember um, where, uh, who is Singapore? And then uh, what is Singapore? Is Singapore a part of Malaysia? That's what a lot of people say that. Um, but uh, Singapore is not part of Malaysia. Singapore is a country, right? Um, Singapore names actually uh, comes from Singapura, uh, which means Lion City um, in, in Sanskrit. Yeah? Uh, according to the uh, Sejara Melayu, which is essentially uh, the Malay, yeah? um, a Sumatran uh, prince actually caught, um, his name is actually um, Sang Nila Otuma. Otuma. I actually landed on Tamasit Den, uh, which was a Singapore owned name. It was an island. And uh, actually, he saw a lion. Uh, which was called Singa in Malay. Malay. Uh, thus, he gave the island a new name called Singapura. So today, uh, me and my team, uh, and together with our Singapore uh, teammate, <laughs> uh, you have not gone through the, uh, the mere few minutes rehearsal with us, but I'm very sure that um, you will be able to sing this song and to actually act together with us. So uh, we also want to invite um, later everyone to actually do this together with us. And we have our very own Andrew who will sing this song for us. Yeah, Andrew. Before we do that, we just want Jess to introduce the four of okay. us. Jess, you want to do that? Okay, so welcome. Um, okay, so this whole Singapore team, we have got Andrew, he's the, um, uh, he's the executive director for this whole, whole rehearsal, whole performance. Okay, so Andrew, he is a um, certified speaker, trainer, and also a coach with the John Maxwell team. He's the founder and master trainer of Andrew Song Training and Consultancy in Singapore. And uh, he would like to y'all to remember him as someone um, who is, uh, remember him with this um, tagline, I am lovable and huggable. So when you see Andrew, you give him a hug, all right? And together we have um, the other three, myself, uh, Lynn and Adeline, uh, three of us, we are very passionate HR folks. And uh, Lynn, Lynn has been in HR for, for over 20 over years. And she has a passion for Zumba and cooking. Whereas for Adeline, she is very much into lifelong learning and uh, she loves painting. And to other Singaporeans who are on this chat group, uh, on this group this evening, do join us for the performance later on. Thank you so much. Okay, Adeline, you want to jump? Oh, sorry. And if, yeah, okay. So, can we make it slightly? Can you see? Because the words are a little bit small. Yes. So, this is a song that we have uh, chosen because of the name Singapura. And uh, Lynn has kindly sort of like helped us explain why Singapura, right? So, we're going to do it once, four of us, and it has actions. And after that, we'd like to invite everybody to also join in again and we'll explain how we do the actions. All right, Ken? Everyone good? Good. So, ready, ladies? Yeah. Okay. Jess, you're ready for the actions? Adeline? All right, here we go. Singapura, oh, Singapura, sunny island set in the sea. Singapura, Oh, Singapura, pretty flowers bloom for you and me. 
Come along, join the song and merry singing. Blend our voices, join in the chorus. Singapura, oh Singapura, pretty flowers bloom for you and me. Come along, join the song in merry singing. Blend our voices, join in the chorus. Singapura, oh Singapura, pretty flowers bloom for you and me. All right. So everyone, if you're game for it, you just stay mute because you can sing from where you are because Zoom can only take one voice, unfortunately. So here are these actions, all right? Singapore is just a heart shape from your hand, starting from your heart out. All right, so it's Singapura, Singapura, right? Easy. Sunny Island is just a sun moving from your left to your right. Sunny Island set in the sea, all right? Water, okay? And then Singapore, Singapore, right? And then afterwards, pretty flowers, two hands together. Bloom like a flower, you bloom. Bloom for you, point to the screen, and me. But the last slide, we'll just do you and me. So we'll just swivel. Okay, and everyone, so you want to see everybody participating, okay? This is like, you know, um, group. We had an icebreaker, now we'll have a group therapy. <laughs> right. Like that, everyone, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's ready, join the Singapore team. Hand sh heart shape on your heart, ready? Here we go. Singapore, oh Singapore, oh Singapore, Dani Island, set in the sea. Singapore, oh Singapore. Pretty flower, bloom for you and me. Then we just move left side to side. Come along, join the song on merry singing. Blend our voices, join in the chorus. Singapore, oh Singapore. Pretty flowers. Look for you and me. Do the chorus one more time. Come along, join the song and merry singing. Blend our voices, join in the chorus. Singapore, oh Singapore. Pretty flowers, soon for you and me. Let's, yeah, let's everyone swivel your hands. Let's see you swivel. Thank you and Merry Christmas and a blessed new year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a good year. In 2021. Nice one, Singapore. Thank you. Thank you. To, yeah. Thank you. Thank you to all the performances. Okay. To, the, to all performance. Uh, Bangladesh, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Hong Kong. Now, it's voting time. Okay, Miss Rita, we're, for best performance, country performance, we will have the poll. Okay. And then for the performer, so we'll have, um, please write it on the chat box. So finally both. So now it's on your screen. Okay, so we have 25, 27 seconds. So we have 22 people voted already out of 31.
So how about the others? Please take your boat. So we have 25 people voted. So what about the others? Please cast your vote now for the best country performance. So we are 34 participants, 25 already voted. Okay, so 26 already voted out of 31. Okay, so we still have five people haven't cast their vote. <laughs> so 30 people, Miss Rita cannot, cannot vote. <laughs> so she, she's the one who cast the vote, so. We have total 30 people to cast the vote. So we have 26 already, so five, uh, four more people. Twenty-seven, okay. I think I cannot vote also. So it's only 29. So two more people. Yeah. So Rita, I think the host and the co-hosts uh, cannot vote. Cannot vote. It's only the attendees. So yes. Yeah. So we have only, um, yeah, two more people to go. So who haven't cast their votes, please do so. So Otherwise, in 10 seconds, we'll end the vote, we'll end the, po the poll, okay? So we, we have 27 people casted their votes, okay? So I think I'm going to end the, the voting, okay? So the best performance, garnering an average score of 41%, is I mean, can we have a drum roll, please? <laughs> da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, I did. I did a drum roll. Okay, so Bangladesh, congratulations, Jacker. Okay, Jacker Abdullah, you won the best performance of the country performance. <laughs> Yes, one more. Congratulations, Jaffer. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, Jaffer. So Jaffer, with garnering an average score of 41%. Okay, so you won the best performance. So now everyone can take your vote. Who's the best performer? <laughs> Best performer, so country performance by, by solo is Jacker. Okay, I think that's also best performer because he's alone, right? So we'll have another vote. You can write on the chat box. Okay, since we have two awards, best country performance by group and best country performance by solo. So for, for group, okay, so our contenders, we have Hong Kong, Malaysia, Indonesia and Singapore. Okay, so you can write down your votes for best country performance by a group. Okay, are you ready? Please write down your vote on the chat box. Don't be shy. Okay, we have. Three Singapore, two Hong Kong, 
Okay, please cast your vote on the chat box for best performance, country performance by a group. Okay, so votes are coming. Carmen, can we, can you please help to check? So Hong Kong times 1,000, very good poster. <laughs> <laughs> poster, Should good we job. Must win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both times 1,000, right? Foster would have got 1,000 times if he had danced. Yes, I think so. Who missed that? <laughs> Agree with that. Okay. Okay, everybody. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So the best country performance is by a group is from Singapore. Okay, right? Yay! Congratulations, Singapore team. Yay! Yay! Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jacker. Congrats. Congratulations, Singapore. So now, since we had all our performances, we enjoyed it very much. Thank you, thank, thank you to all the countries who joined in the performance. Now let's go to Miss Lin. Okay, Miss Lin, are you ready? Miss Lin is going to give us some HR quizzes. Okay, so be ready because we will have some prizes for this one. Yay. If you didn't win from Shimam, so we still have chance from Lin. Right? I'll give I'll give the floor to Lin. Okay. Um yeah, I'm trying to share my screen. <laughs> I got a problem right now. <laughs> Wait a minute, yeah. Um, is it sharing now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hi everybody. Um okay, um I think uh, we have been in the human resources for for a long while. Um well, uh, I don't really have. To, um, uh, uh, do I have a gift? For, uh, do I have a prize for this? Uh, uh, I I don't think so, right? Uh, Rita, do I? Do I? Not not really. I'm not really. Not really, right? Yeah. So that's why I have to uh, actually wanting to to really share. Um, we don't have a price for this, but I guess the best price that we will get from this the is knowledge is essentially the knowledge that um, I guess uh, being a revision or something new to you, uh, I hope uh, everybody will be met a price by having um, getting some knowledge from here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you just input the questions into the check box. Yeah. And uh, Let's try uh, the first question. I actually wanted to share an effect, but I'm very worried that I get give away the answer. Uh, <laughs> okay, let, let's try on this and I will give you the answer straight away. Expand HRM. Uh, does it mean human resource monitor, human resource meter, or human resource management? You can put your answer in the chat. Just give five seconds. <laughs> I, I, I'm on this screen, so I can't really see everybody. Um, yeah. So, Most of the answers are C. Some are D. D? <laughs> yeah, from math. Oh, no. Okay. Um, or A, B, C, D. Thanks, Maria. Um, yes, the answer is C. Yep. Yeah. Most of the answers were C. Yes, right. Answer is C. Okay, uh, which situations below describe circumstances where the employee is at fault? Tony arrives late repeatedly because his car wouldn't start. Sheena is caught attending a funeral while off sick with a migraine. Roger forgets to phone in uh, when, talking, when taking a day off. Andy takes thumbs off without permissions 
to bring a sick parents to a doctor's examinations. So it's A, B, C, or D. Maria, I need your help. <laughs> I can't. Yes, yeah, so everyone, it's, it's A, B, A, A, C, D, A, B, C, D, uh -oh. C. A, A, C? Yeah, all of the above, A to D, C. A to D. Oh, yes. Okay. So a, everybody, everybody just has. A, B, C, D. This will be a great game for you. In <laughs> fact, the true answer is Sheena is caught attending a funeral where all sick with a migraine. Essentially, when you are declaring sick, you shouldn't be attending a funeral. <laughs> it is okay for you to arrive late, uh, uh, I mean, as compared to when you are being caught attending a funeral while, while you claim that you are sick. It's okay for you to forget to phone as compared, compared to when you actually attend, uh, you know, something else when you are declared sick, yeah? In requesting a medical information, knowing that to ask for and how to ask for, it is critical. Which one of the following pieces of medical information is not appropriate to ask for? A diagnosis or a prognosis? You know, why is a diagnosis, right? Diagnosis is... Uh, answer yeah. some, so A, yeah. B... B, so you have A, A, B, A, A, B, A, and B. Yes. Yeah. Are we done? So a, a, most of the answers um, are A. Okay. Do you read the, do you read the question? And then we have B, B. Uh, um, the question is really information that is not appropriate to ask for. So when the questions that is not appropriate, uh, uh, the information that is not appropriate to ask for is prognosis. Uh, you are, it's, as compared to diagnosis, prognosis is not appropriate to ask for because um, that prognosis actually um, state the consequences of the diagnosis. Well, which of the following is not confidential employee information? Land of employment, religious affiliations, medical information, or number? So answers A. So A, all A. Yep, A is the a. answer. Yes. So the length of employment is not confidential. Not confidential. Um, B, C, D actually are essentially confidential uh, employee information. S band NDA. Non-disclosure agreement. Normal duty activities or end due agreement? Answers. Okay, A. There's a C answer. C? There's A. Okay. A and C. A and C. Okay. The answer is non disclosure agreement. Next. 360 degree is taking employee to task for misdemeanor or a communication skill or a performance assessment tool. So the answer C, B, C, B, <laughs> B and C. B and C. Yes. Okay. Are we all done? Essentially, 360 degree is D C. Yeah, it essentially 360 degree is a performance Sorry. assessment tool. Yeah, okay. uh, it actually provides the assessment um, uh, from peers, from the supervisor, and from the subordinate 360. As ban common ban, is it a company and benefactors, compensations and benefits, competitions and business? All answers are B. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is just to test everybody whether you are <laughs> awake or not, or you're happily actually trying to. I mean, it's, it's already very sleepy. Yes, the answer is B. Common yeah. benefits, compensations, and benefits. Uh, this is a very interesting question. <laughs> what is human resources? A term used to describe the individuals who comprise the workforce of an organization. 
a term applied in labor economic or the name of the functions within an organization charged with the overall responsibility for implementing strategies and policies relating to the management of individuals. All answers are C. All answer C? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> okay. So oh, there's a uh, E. There's all of the above. Uh, e, all of the above. This is truly a, a great presence for everybody. Essentially, the what do we understand by human resources is actually a term used to describe the individuals who comprise the workforce of their organizations. When I first gotten this piece, I also thought that it is really the functions within the organization charged with the overall responsibility. I guess those were the days whereby people feel that HR is the functions that actually define the strategy and the policies relating to the management of the individual. It is not. Um, it is not HR for implementing all the strategy and policies for the management of individuals. So it is described the individuals who comprise the workforce of the organizations. Yeah. The objective of an organization's human resource management strategy is <laughs> A, to maximize the return on investment from the organization's human capital, minimize financial risk, C, all of the above, D, none of the above. So C, A, D, B, C, D, C, C, A, I'm surprised that you don't think that one of the, of the HR, those who answer B, I, I'm surprised that you never think that HR is maximizing the return on investment from organization human capital. Um, in fact, it is also minimizing the financial risk. So the answer is C, all of the above. All of the above. So it's a combination of maximizing the return on investment from the human capitals and at the same time to minimize the financial risk. We make sure that we invest on the um, uh, so-called personal costs and then um, we do not actually uh, incur uh, all the financial costs uh, in order to minimize the financial risk. A detailed step-by-step -step description of the company's customary method of handling activities is a policy, procedures, rules or vision. So B, most, mostly the answers are all B. And then yeah. there's one A. Okay, B is correct. Yeah, because it's a step-by-step -step descriptions. It is not about the guidelines and the policy, yeah? Which of the following is a written description of the work to be done? The job qualifications, the job descriptions, the job analysis, or the job posting? So B. Answers B, J, D. They put J, D. Yes. B, B. Yep, B. correct. Correct. Tension so between... The B. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Tension between HR and frontline managers uh, stem from A, managers tend to let HR handle people management because it is the most challenging aspect of their work. B, both are unclear on who should do what. C, HR being viewed as a police or detector. And D, is uh, A and C. Answers are B, D. D, D, A, D, A, A. Tension is always between the HR and the frontline managers. The so answer it's a mix, is, but mostly D. Uh, yes, D is the correct answer. Um, we always saw um, um, very frequent we witness uh, the tensions between HR and frontline managers uh, because there are a lot of frontline managers always let HR handle people uh, because the, it is a very most challenging aspect of their work. You will actually know that there are a lot of line, frontline managers who actually do not like to deal with people. 
and uh, that's why they want to live with HR. Why I ended up with this last question is because I guess it's very close to our heart that our frontline managers, when they want to handle something that is not very pleasant, they will usually think it's a HR job, mm. right? Does it sound familiar? Mm. Yeah. Agree. Yes. So, um, and, and that's, that's always the tensions that uh, arises between the frontline managers and HR. Or they feel that HR is a policeman or policewoman. It is your job to go and actually catch my people, discipline them, tell them where they're wrong, what are the punishment. Yeah. And they forgot that when they want to give bonus, they want to be the one who tell their people that this is the bonus that I gave you. Right. So that's why um, HR has not always been an easy job. Uh, after being in HR for the last 20 over years, uh, I, I, as I told Jess, I continue to have passion for HR. I, I hope everybody hang on. Um, I can guarantee you HR has the um, most interesting job. We play different role. Um, we are so-called the team of the party today. Yeah, uh, hang it there. You are not alone. Um, we all will fight the spirit together as a professional HR person. Yeah, that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Lynn. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, Miss Lin. Thank you. So now uh, I would like to ask everyone to open their video because our next award, so we, we are now going to our awarding ceremony. Okay, please open your video. Okay, so we are now going to vote for the star, female star of the night. Okay, so please open your, your video. So I will start the vote. Okay, everyone. So please write on the chat box, who do you think is the female star of the night? And the male star of the night. Hey everyone. Miss Rita, could you please help? I lost the chat already. Okay. So a lot are typing in. I see mail of the night. I have Shibam. Jacker, Avin, Foster, Shibam, Jacker. Okay. Hey, Foster, Dina, Shibam, Lin, Dina. Shibam. Hello. Can can we have music, Avid, while we're everyone's taking the boat?
Norisan, Jacker, Donald Trump. Nice one, Shatil. <laughs> Oh, Ben sweater looks nice. Hello po, Kuya Ben. Maganda daw po yung sweater nyo. I said his, his sweater is nice. Someone said his sweater is nice. So we'll have some music while everyone is voting. Okay, we have Tony. Okay, so Miss Rita is counting the vote, the vote for the best for the female star of the night and male of the night. Okay, so we have one more game, one last game. Okay, so it's it's called scavenger hunt, but actually in the Philippines we call it bring me. It's a bring me game. Okay. So we have list of items that we will ask you to find. Okay, and who can bring it first? Okay, will be declared as the winner. Are you ready? Those who has kids, husbands, wife, beside you can ask your husband and wife to help you out with this game. Okay, are you ready? So first item to bring, okay? Please bring a pair, pair of socks, red socks. Please bring a pair of red socks. <laughs> oh, okay. Kuya Ben already got it. So Ben from the Philippines. Got it already with the red socks. Okay. So, Carmen, please note. <laughs> so, thank you. Next item. Uh, maybe, I mean, we can have a music while doing the game, right? But it's in a very, very slow, okay, low volume. Okay, because everyone's on mute and I'm the only one speaking. So, in on my side, it feels so quiet. Right. Yeah. Second item. Oh, okay. So second item. <laughs> I, I would say bring your cat, but Norison already. <laughs> okay. Um, second item to bring. Could you bring a red cup? Red copy copy mug. A red copy mug. Yeah, that's you. gold. Shivan, that's gold. Is it red? Oh, oh yes, red. Shivan got it. Been drinking okay. from it throughout <laughs> the call. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> Thank you, Shivam. And the third item, okay, it should be difficult, right? Please bring a red scarf. If you notice, I'm calling all red items, right? A red scarf. Will a red handkerchief do? I don't have a red scarf. No, it's a you handkerchief. You should bring everything red from our home, right? <laughs> with us. Yes. So I it should a be a scarf. For the next item. I see, Patri I see Patricia. Patricia has it. Okay. Patricia. I have this red curtain behind me. Will it do? <laughs> yes. I would say bring your kid. I'm in one already. And the fourth item, please bring Mary, you have to be on mute. Yeah. Yeah. Please bring a ladle. A ladle? A ladle. Please, please bring a ladle. I know, let me think. 
Okay. L A D L E. Ladle. It's a scooper. In the Philippines, we call it sandok. Yeah, I think Patricia got it already. Scooper. Yeah, Patricia has it. Ah, yeah, Patricia already. Okay. Congratulations, Patricia. And the next item. Please bring your, your husband or your wife. Bring a husband or a wife. Don't bring both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anybody? Mr. I think Tony, Tony got it. Mr. Tony, sorry. Tony, Tony got it. <laughs> Tony already. <laughs> yeah, Tony already got it. Tony, you have to show your wife. <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> Okay. I cannot think of things anymore. <laughs> I only think of red things. <laughs> Avin, can you think of something? Blue water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's what I have here in front of me. So that's what I could see. A blue water bottle. Yeah. Blue, blue water bottle. Oh, oh, Tony, Tony sir, has it again. Tony yes, has it already. <laughs> okay. who, can, who, can, who has a rice cooker? Rice cooker. <laughs> rice cooker. It's in use, Marie. Can't break it. It's in use right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just be in use. Can't bring it. <laughs> who can a rice cooker? <laughs> Oh, hey, Tan, Tan already, has it. Tan. Tan has it, Tan has it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tan. You're fast, huh? <laughs> Tan has it. Nice. So I think that that's for our bring, bring me game, okay, or scavenger hunt, hunt. Okay, in the Philippines, we call it bring me, okay. So now we have, I think, uh, Miss Rita sent the result already for the female star of the night and male star of the night. Okay, so does, can we have a drum roll, please? Avin, can we have a drum roll? The, the, can we have a drum roll, please? So for the, Male star of the night is <laughs> okay. So, drum roll is ready. Please yeah. unmute. Okay. So we would like to thank Lynn. So she sent us the 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 link for the HR quizzes. Okay, thank you, Lynn, for that. Okay. So are you ready? Okay. Amin, please do the drum roll. The Asia HRM. 2020 year end party male star of the night is Chibam. Chibam. Uh, yay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Oh, oh, congratulations. Thank you. Preview. I'm dressed up in red and I'm going all red now. You'll not be able to see me soon. Yeah. Congratulations, Shibam. And the female star of the night for 2020 Asia HRM year end party. Mrs. 
Rita, I think it's bias. Okay, it's myself. <laughs> Congratulations! Congrats, Mary. Enjoy! Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, well deserved, Mary. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. you a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Okay. So now we we're going to have our closing song. Okay, everybody. So we prepared a closing song for everybody since this is Christmas season. Okay, to end our year-end party, let's all sing Merry Christmas song. Okay, Avin, could you please do the honor? Could you please share the video so everybody can sing, all of us? So please unmute your mic. Please unmute your mic. Everybody, you can unmute. And let's all sing a song together. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, play. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy year. <laughs> okay, let's start again. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's just a practice. Okay. One, two, three, go. Thank you, Dr. Andrew, for the um, for the certificates that you provided as one of the the prizes for our games. And uh, those who won, uh, we will send you the e certificates. Okay, so we'll send it to you in the group. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Rita. Thank you, Avin. Thank you very much, Avin. Thank you, thank you everyone. Miss Lynn. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Very, very oh, can we have awesome. one one photo, last one photo to end this evening? Okay. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So on count of three, if everyone could smile. Three, two, one. Yeah, one more. Three, two, one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank everyone. you. Thank, Thank you very you. much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye